Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Dodgy and today we are playing the prologue of Doc Fracture. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to come out with a full version of this, but it is a spooky game and we love spooky games here. So if you would like to support my channel, you can always follow me on my Insta of Grams. You can also subscribe to my channel. Join the Dune Squad. We would love to have you. With that being said, guys, grab your snack, grab your beverage, grab your stuffy, and let's get on with the show. This game contains strong language and gruesome content that some players may find disturbing. Certain scenes may potentially trigger seizures for people with photosensitive epilepsy. Epilepsy, sorry. Epilepsy. So there's your trigger warning or, or your epileptic shock warning if you have any of those kind of triggers do not watch this gameplay please and thank you looks like a giant meatball ready to eat i don't know what that thing on top is is that part of the meatball or is it is that the the hair of the meatball or is that a separate entity of the meatball riding the meatball it's trying to feed it his broken mind leaked his fractured soul into a dark, endless labyrinth. In the eternal night, he longed for respite from the loneliness, only to realize he had never really been alone. Oh, I, I must have been asleep. <sighs> I was asleep. I was sleeping on the job. That's not good. How long was I out? Uh, I need a cigarette. A cigarette? Where's my damn lighter? Cigarettes, cigarettes aren't good. Prologue, Dark Nights. Where are my, I guess, where are my cigarettes? Do I need that? Key to the office, I guess That's so. That's the office key. Now, where's my lighter? Uh, found the key after my last cigarette. I left the lighter inside of my locker. In the changing room, my colleague Norman was being his usual insufferable self. And I just could not deal with his bullshit anymore. So I went for a smoke break, then left my lighter behind. I should go grab it. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Sure, if that's what you need to do, if that will make you feel better. Are those my cigarettes? I smoke about a pack of these daily. And I truly do not believe you can work here unless you are a heavy smoker. It's a habit. And whenever I manage to visit the town, I buy as many as I can since the facility is so isolated. But hey, at least they are cheap. They look cheap. They look they look almost like they're they're fake. Like they're the cigarette candies that you would buy at the uh gas station. You remember like when you were a kid and you thought you were cool when you could like pretend smoke? When really they were just they were trying to indoctrinate you into being a smoker. As an adult. What's this? Hello. Oh, look, it's a little buyer. Theodore. He was left behind in the car seat in the cab seven years ago by a passenger before me. His His smile caught my eye. And we have been best friends ever since. Oh, God. What is that? Um, he... Been best friends ever since. He does not say much, but he's a great listener. I always wonder what he's looking at. Hello? How did the radio turn on? Uh, specimen report 37782. I always assume that working on a body farm research facility would be exciting. Turns out it's mostly filling reports and checking on dead bodies, one after the other. Okay. Yeah, we ain't gonna have that be playing. All right, all right, all right, my guy. It's jammed. Stuffed potato chips. They're my favorite brand. Yum, crunchy as fooch. Too bad this bag is empty. Well, why do you have an empty bag? Why is there an empty? Why did it get quiet? Ooh, are those pills? Take the pills. I guess I can't take pills. 
I'm wondering if there's anything special in any of this. Do I need any of these? Like, you got random pills just chilling. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's nothing. Okay. Alright. So there's nothing here. Oh, okay. Most doors and drawers are interactive. Some of these are locked and can only be opened by a specific key. Press this or that on door drawers to use keys. Okay. Continue. Continue. Alright, I don't see anything else. I'm gonna use that. Oh, it is dark, in here. dark. Maybe I should turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Well, this isn't creepy at all. Just going. Can I run? Oh, I can run. Okay. Just in a morgue. It's okay. It's totally cool. We're all good here, right? Uh, specimen report 37544. It's a very interesting case. She's still up there in one of those outdoor cages. I will need to check on all of them when the rainstorm passes. <laughs> there was a vibration on my phone and it spooked me a little bit. Don't don't mind me, guys. It's okay. The key to my locker. It's old and rusty. I always uh, wonder how many people have held it before me. My locker key. Yeah. I'm gonna slide it on my office keychain. What's that? I found my locker key just so that I don't end up leaving it behind again. I'm going to slide it. I just said that. Why? Why are we like reading that? He writes a lot. The changing room is such a mystery. So many former employees left their belongings behind and never came back to collect them. It's almost like they don't know they were not coming back or were in a real big hurry. It's weird either way. Anyways, I gotta check my locker, I guess. Okay, let's do it. Did I, did I hit it? Is that it? Oh, here we go. That's my key! Uh, a key for exit door leading to the body farm upstairs. Why is there a body farm upstairs? That just sounds messed up and disturbing. I've got a long shift to go, so I cannot think about leaving just yet. I will definitely get fired if I do. And I really need to keep this job. Alright, sure. But you could always hold on to it, right? What's my uh, lighter? Metal lighter. I usually carry it around me. It has limited capacity for lighter fluid and needs to be refueled every now and then. So I should only use it when necessary. Okay, press one for the lighter. Good to know. Whoa. Oh crap, I almost forgot about the pill. Oh, what pill? I need to take the oxycodone pill from my locker, it is a small, shady-looking, red-and-white capsule. I've got plenty more upstairs, not that I ever want any more of these. And I need to consume them daily if I want to continue working here. But why? Part of, part of the rule book. Okay, if you have to take a job where they are forcing you to take a pill, um, I don't think you really need that job or should work there. I'm just, just, my, I'm just my own opinion. Uh, okay. Facility medication the administration here requires all staff to consume this pill daily with strangely specific directions. They claim the pill is for staying mentally alert on the job and the daily ritual can, uh, centers, centers our thoughts or focuses the mind or something to the effect. That, again, does not sound very trustworthy. Well... I better do it the way they asked. There's all these cameras around. It feels like they're watching my every move. I feel like I'm reading a lot in this game. Time for my daily dose again. Pill after pill. Day after day. I stop caring about what this devious medication is for. After all, I'm still alive. As for side effects, well... I cannot really tell, because it's not like I have always been stable to begin with. What's odd is that they strictly require me to consume it in front of the bathroom mirror. 
I wish someone would tell me what was really going on sometimes. Why specifically the bathroom? Uh, by the time you read this, I would no longer be in your life. I have changed my phone number, taken my belongings, and will be staying in a hotel for a short while. I left your keys on the desk. I won't be needing them anymore. I just cannot watch you do this. I love you, Edward. I still love you. And that is exactly why I cannot stomach seeing this. I can't help you if you fight me at every turn, and I won't stand by while you destroy yourself destroy us. I know I'm being selfish. I know this must hurt, but I'm hurt too. And no matter how many times we spoke, my words never reach you. I'm sorry it has to be this way, but I know that if I tried saying goodbye in person, I would change my mind. So before that happens, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. Who is this? <laughs> I'm guessing his girlfriend, his wife, his person of interest. Uh, g this wallet was given to me as a gift. It's loaded with memories, some good, and a few I'd rather forget. Looking at you, Cynthia. Cynthia? I'm guessing the scratched out picture is Cynthia? Cynthia's probably the one that wrote that letter. Okay. Alright. Anything back here that is important? No? Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Now what? What am I supposed to do now? I can light these candles. I've got a lighter now. What? Why did Why did you blow? Oh, I have to. Um. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom and take my pill. I forgot. I knew there was something I had to do. Where's the bathroom, though? Is this... Oh, this is the bathroom. So that's the ladies' room, and that's the gentlemen's room. We are gentlemen, of course. And it is dark. Why is it so dark? Where is the, uh... Oh. Why was it so dark right there? It looked like it was... Okay. Oh, is that... Oh, it's leaking. Why is it leaking? You can consume your pill. <clears throat> um. Uh. Okay, so random paranoia events will occur throughout Dark Fracture. Your sanity will be. Oh. Try to preserve it throughout the game. Push too low, and you may not make it. We aren't gonna make it, guys. If we don't stay on top of it. Well, I have, uh, well, I have done as I was told. Bravo. Obeying the administration's instructions is the only way I can continue working here. I've learned a few blind spots, though, where I get to catch a break from their increscent prying. Increscent? It's a word I've never seen before, apparently. I usually smoke in the aisles of the storeroom. I got a secret spot there with a step stool and an ashtray. I always leave behind. It is one of the only places out of view of the cameras. And I can always chill while smoking there. Cool, let's go and uh, let's go and find that. Why did that shut? Did you see that? There's nothing here. Okay. So we gotta find the storeroom. Is this the storeroom? Let's try it. Hello? Hello? It's locked. Yeah, this is definitely the storeroom. Okay, ashtray. Ashtray! Ashtray! Wait. Where the hell are my cigarettes? Where are my cigarettes? Damn it. Seriously? Cigarettes behind in the office. What's this? Weird valve handle. I don't remember it ever being here. Okay. And why did that door shut? Am I supposed to grab it? That looks like a bad idea. 
a uh, movable object, many objects, my heart rate's going up. Oh my god. Many objects in the uh, can, can be moved around. Cool. Let me go and grab it then. I'm sure this isn't going to do any kind of damage or anything. Whoa! Okay, hello. Did I drop it? I dropped it. I dropped it. Where did I drop it? Uh. Hey, hey, mister, mister, who are you? Who are you? And why are you painted in, in red, huh? We ain't having, we ain't having none of that. You know, I had to, I had to deal with tall poppy. You think I'm afraid of you? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Hello? Hey, mister. Oh. It's the phone in the office ringing. Oh! Call. Oh, what? Why do I keep dropping that? Am I supposed to? Am I supposed to open this? Hello? Ooh, somebody had a bad day in there. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm gonna shut this door. Can I shut the door? Shut the door. Y'all can have your enjoyment time in the uh, laboratory. Um, I'm going to uh, I'll place this right over here. I'll place that there. That should be fine. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, answer this phone. Huh? How about that? I'm coming. Don't hang up. Shit. Damn it. Missed the call. Oh well. I should probably get back to work. Yeah, they're probably watching us with all the cameras that you can see. I missed the phone call. It might have been important, and someone is probably going to come in to check on me. That would probably be a good thing, considering all this weird stuff is happening. I think you need to be check on. Check on. You need to be check on. You need to be checked on, dude. Uh, and someone is uh, blah, blah, blah. I better get busy from what I recall. There are six bodies occupying the freezer in the freezer room. A routine checkup is in order. I still got a few more hours to spend down here until my shift ends. But when I'm done, I should also check on the decomposition process in the outdoor cages. Okay. So now we gotta find... We have to find the, uh... What is that? Coins? What do I do with them? Can I throw them? Can I... It's not throwing them. Whatever. Okay. Alright, so we got a couple doors here. We got uh, this door. Which apparently can't go through. That. Oh, it's an elevator. That apparently doesn't work. Okay, good to know. It's another but. All right, so maybe that's not a door. Okay. I'm required to move both crawl pieces out of the room before opening the freezers. Ooh. Okay. Why are you required though? Why can't you just, uh, open it? Okay, alright, hold on, hold on. We got this. Move it on up. Okay, now for the second trolley. Let me just, I'm just gonna move it right over here. Out of the way. Ah! No! That's not what I wanted to do! Can I let go? Alright, I let go. Okay, sorry, I thought there was something over there. Thought I saw something, but it was just my imagination. This. Try and get this through in one piece. If this is done. I can go check the occupied freezers. Is that is that what we're doing next? We're just gonna look at dead bodies now, right? Okay. Put that over there. All right. So, what what did he write? Okay. Uh, that wasn't too hard. Freezer three. 
A, or 3A, A3, A5, B8, B11, B13, and A15 should all be occupied. Okay, so let's start with A3 and 5. So, one, okay, A3. Hello, Mr. Jones, how are you today? Are you, are you resting very well? Okay, all right, well, continue, continue. Oh, hello, uh, Jonathan. Hello, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jonathan. Uh, I forgot your last name. I'm sorry, but uh, I see that you are you you're you're looking very very good today. All right, uh, you enjoy your rest, and uh, I will I will return to you in maybe an hour or so. Oh, oh, here's here's a uh, little Susie. Hello, little Susie. How are you today? You're looking mighty well. All right, you enjoy your slumber. Ch shut the door. Shut it. I don't want to look at them anymore. And... I think that was 11, so 13. Is this 13? It's really hard to tell. That's B. Is this 13? Nobody's in that one. That one's empty. Fourteen. Oh, this is thirteen. Okay, so they should be in this one. <gasps> Nobody's in that one. Is that the right one? I don't even know if that's the right one. Maybe this is it? Are you it? No, that's that's thirteen. Okay, here's thirteen. Hello! Hello, Ichabod. That's your name. Your name is Ichabod. You look like you look even smaller than the other ones. Was that blood always there? I I don't remember now. Oh, right. 8, 13, 13, and I think, what's the last one? And 15. Where's 15? So it's 12. Okay, so 15 has to be over here. <gasps> what? Oh, no. Fucking hell. A body is missing from the freezer. Oh, no, a body. Fuck, I'd better use the office phone to report this immediately. Who stole a body? Body bag has been removed from the freezer. When and how did it happen? Did someone enter the facility while it was sleeping? Probably. That's why you don't sleep on the job, man. Must have been that annoying Norman. But then again, he's supposed to be on long on a long leave, which is partially why I've been assigned to work double shifts. I need to report this immediately, or I may end up getting blamed for this. I should call administration now. Okay, let's go. Let's go call administration. Oh, I should probably, um... I don't need that, do I? Call admin. Uh, we have a report of a missing body. <phone rings> Operator, get me to the admin. Hello? Look at that mug. It has like a creepy... Oh wait, you can't even see it because I'm blocking it. Sorry. Oh. Hello? Who's breathing? Okay, that's not good. Okay, who turned on the radio again? I keep hearing a camera shutter clicking away, but where's it coming from? No. Uh, the phone line is dead and the shift is getting very strange. I'm hearing unfamiliar sounds coming from the far side of the morgue. A body is missing. Strange objects just keep appearing out of nowhere, but I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Time to investigate where the noises are coming from. Sure, why not? Uh, personal medication. My psychiatrist tells me that it used for several mental illnesses that do not improve. I've been consuming these for several years now. Common side effects which I'm experiencing are drowsiness, low, br br low blood pressure, blurred vision, and dizziness. That probably explains why he's been having like weird... Weird spells. I don't know. What's that? Oh, you see that? Coming from in here. Ooh! Who opened the door? 
Who opened the door? Who's there? Who is there? Who is, who is that? Why is there... Is that the body? Is that the missing body? What in the world? Is there a light? This body should be here. Oh! Okay. It's messed up. Let me turn on the light. Why is that just doing that? Why is it just moving? Are we not concerned uh, about not only the body being here, but the fact that the camera is just, you know, just, you know, doing its thing all by itself, not being helped, not being assisted? No, we're just going to ignore that. Mm-hmm. Yep, just going to ignore it. This camera is often used to photograph the deceased during an autopsy and document the uh, progress of decomposition. It has bright flash attached. Cool. Okay. Flash can be used. Oh, okay. Okay. No. We want. We want this. Okay. The camera shutter was trigger. The camera shutter was triggering itself. Something must be going on here. You think? It was triggering itself. Now what? What do I do now? What do I do now? Oh, okay. That seems right, right? Shit. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now what? Uh, how about, how about... We gotta go back to the fu- like, the storeroom to find the fuse box. Okay. Well, I'm glad this candle helps. Not. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? I hate this. Okay. At least that light works. God, Jesus Christ! What was that? What was that? It looked like some monster from Stranger Things! I should probably use my lighter. Yeah. It's really dark. It is really dark. Okay. I'm not nervous. I'm not- I'm not scared. You're scared. Where the hell am I? What is that? Okay, that's normal. Yeah, this is normal. This is completely normal. Hello. Hello, friends. Hello, all my normal arm friends. Yes. Yes, it's- it's so good to see you all. Oh! What is that? Okay. That's normal. What? Where's my light? Okay. Uh. Did I walk down this hall or not? Oh, there's the camera. Yeah, I see you. I see you now. I was wondering where the cameras were. What? Did it go the other way? I think I'm supposed to go this way, right? I don't know. I'm so lost, guys. Nothing there. Nothing here. Was that? There's writing on that wall. Okay, here's the fuse box. I don't get it. The fuse box seems up. Hopefully all the emergency lights are working now. Okay. I should locate my medication quickly. Yeah, you're at about 50% capacity of brain. Okay, um... Let me put that away. That's normal. Normal. Everything's fine. What am I looking at? What was that? What was I supposed to see? Was I supposed to see something? Oh, look at Jesus Christ. This isn't happening. Nope. Keep it together. Don't do this. This isn't real. Nope, it's not real. We're gonna just ignore everything. Oop! Okay, 
And we're just gonna zigzag it up. Where's my meds? I think these are my meds, right? Take your meds. Take your meds. Okay. Thank God. I really need my um. medication. Would you stop? Stop at that. God damn it. Oh no. Earthquake! Avalanche! Something. I don't know what to do. Okay, fuck it. I'm getting out of here. The exit key is in my locker. Okay. Alright, let's make a run for it. Run for it. Uh, hello. It's not there. What? Where is the key? I saw it here earlier. Oh, what is behind me? Uh, the exit key, I swear it was right here. I could be mistaken. Maybe placed it somewhere else. I'm convinced it was in my locker, which it was. We saw it. Uh, someone is playing a trick on me. This has gone on too far. This has gone too far. I need to find the exit key right away. Who's back there? Who is it? Does it sound like demons? Hello? Is that it? <gasps> the key. Okay, the key. Alright. It's taking away my sanity. What is going on? I'm getting out of this fucked up place right now. Uh, I need, I need, I need camera at least, just in case. Oh, uh, where am I supposed to go? Okay, so that's clearly jammed. Uh, is that is that a door? Oh my god, am I not allowed? Am I supposed to go out this way? <gasps> Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out of here. Help! I need an adult. Uh, all these chains and locks weren't here before. What? And the door handle. It's just gone. Was this even the exit? This is some uh, Silent Hill crap right here. This definitely looks like it's taken textbook from Silent Hill. And it's raining now? Was it raining before? Oh my goodness. Let's go. Oh no 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 no. What? What? Okay, not 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 a good place. Like blood. What? What looks like blood? blood? Oh. What's going on? Uh, these dark wet trails look a lot like blood. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to know where it leads to, but we're gonna go and investigate it anyways, right? But since it seems like I'm stuck here anyways, I don't think I want to just sit around while things happen all around me. I think I should investigate and find out where these trails lead to. Sure, because that's reasonable. Whoa, there was not this much blood. There was not this much blood, dude. What are you talking about? Oh, no. I don't like this. And there's breathing in my ear. This is not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Is this anything? Okay. So the blood just leads here. Okay. Am I supposed to be concerned about this? Also, there's another trail here. 
It goes that way too, so, um... Where... Make up your mind of where you want the bloodshed. It's literally everywhere. Am I supposed to follow all of it? What? Oh, where do you want me to go? Okay, that's just the sink. Uh, I don't like being in the dark. Okay. Ugh. I'm blind. Um... Okay. Also goes in here, which leads to nowhere. Uh, that must have caused the walls to crumble. That's a pipe? Looks like uh, some sort of handle could fit here, but for what? Uh, tonight, tonight's shift is seriously testing my limits. I don't understand where the blood trails are coming from, but some of them seem to lead to this pipe. Maybe the valve handle that fell on the floor earlier has something to do with it. Hopefully if it's return to where it belongs the madness will stop now where did I last see it last time oh I know where I put it I know you belong to someone else can I pick it up please pick it up pick it up pick it up oh I'm holding two things okay that's why all right pick it up uh this is probably not a good idea um, let me put that away and let me take out my lighter. Yeah, there. That way we can see. Okay, the door's shut. That's good. Good to know. I turned it. Now what? What happens? Oh god. Uh, what happens now? Oh, okay. Um, so I'm not gonna need that. This is such a terrible idea. Oh, hello, arms. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a terrible idea. It's got bones and chairs. Do I grab them? Do I use them as defense? Apparently not. Uh, do I just walk over these? Hello, arms. Please don't grab me. Do not grab me. Ugh, do not- oh god, they're just- they just keep coming up from the bottom. How are they fitting through the grate? Whoa, oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Am I not allowed? Uh, how about- Eh, dirt, dirt. That didn't help. I- I was trying to throw it. It didn't work. Okay. Yeah, y'all enjoy that chair. I don't need it. Um, here, can you, can you take this, please? There, take that. This is comforting. This is comforting. We're going, we're going up to the stairway to heaven now? Who are you? Are you an angel? What? What am I looking at? Whoa, what is that? What is that? It's getting closer. Whoa, it's a mummy. Whoa, whoa. This must be a nightmare. What the hell is going on? This is a nightmare. Look at that face. My sanity, I'm at. I'm at 15%. What am I supposed to do? Can I wait, 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 can I take a can I take a pill? Oh wait, I didn't get to take the pill! I'm at 1% sanity! I need to take the pill! Oh no. What do I do? Help! Help! Somebody help me! Oh. 
Oh no, the walls are closing in. Oh, that's it. Thank you for playing. 42 minutes? That's not bad. Most of my games take like two hours before I can complete them, so yay! Well, there you go, guys. That is Dark Fracture, uh, the prologue or the demo. So I'm not sure if they're going to come out with a full-blown version of this, but thus far it seemed interesting. Definitely a mental horror game. Um, uh, it did get me a couple times with the jump scares, but I feel like there could have been maybe more of a threat with the monster. But overall, I think it was really good. So uh, leave a comment down below, guys. What do you think of this game? Um, and let me know if you would play this, if it had a full version to it. Well, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you again next time. I love you. Don't forget your boops. Damage or anything. Whoa! Is that the body? Is that the body? Oh God, Jesus! Guys, don't go! Whoa! Oh, he's just a ghost.